Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saints here. I hope everybody's well. Leo. It's time to throw them down for you for January 2022. Fire! I love doing that. I think I skipped it for Aries and I feel horrible about that now, but I love being obnoxious for my fire signs. This is fire sign tarot after all. Anyway, Leo, if it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will. It's whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey in mind. Just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising and understand readings. If you think it might want something that might resonate a little bit better, keep in mind time and energy are both fluid. All things can be but vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. I love it when people stop by. I have open comments back up, so as long as people aren't being jerks, I'll keep them open. Just throwing that out there. If you think we might vibe and stuff, you want to come hang out some more, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That'd be super cool of you. If you are returning, welcome back. I've missed you. Where you been? It's always good to see a familiar face. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel and it all helps the messages to be circulated to those who may need them. So, if you see it, and it might not be for you, and I don't really care if they're a Leo or not, you got a friend that needs it, share it. Why not? Be like, yo, brah, you're going to watch this, right? Okay. Anywho, never make a life altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are, mine or somebody else's. And if it is not your story, not your reading, not your message, it's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, it's not making sense in your life, leave the cards on the table, walk away. It may not be meant for you. That being said, if it don't belong to you, don't take it with you. Leave it on the table, okay? All right, I don't want to start no drama. All right, we're going to invoke the cards. Get them down for you, Leo. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for the message you have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January 2022. Thank you for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring my Leo friends to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Leo, what's going on? Bringing back an old school spread for you guys. You've been hanging out for a minute, you might remember it. This one just helps grab the energy of the person that you're dealing with. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse of some unfinished business need to be tended to. Oh, snap. What is on my table right now? I got a sudden feeling some crap's going to go down. Just throwing that out there. All right, let's get the energy of the person you're dealing with. <sighs> Conflict. Hearing, feeling, sensing just when you thought it was over. I got to be careful with this deck, guys. She's old. One of these days I'll replace her. Swords popped out. We're gonna put it back. Mmm, somebody hot broke. Somebody hot broke. Seven of Swords. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Bad blood. Six of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Oh, snap. Here we go. Let's set this down a little bit further. You guys can see a little bit better. There we go. Okay. Why do I have the feeling I'm going to have to light some sage after this? This has got very heavy. Very heavy. I 
don't even think you guys are reading out of the same book at this point. But there may be an energy match here. Could be a struggle for balance. Six of Pentacles. One more good one. What's up with this world card for Leo? Yup. This may have affected a family situation. Something's done. King of Pentacles. Cups reversed. You could have Earth in your chart. You could be dealing with some of the Earth or water in their chart. I have Virgo. Hmm, y'all. Affected family situation. Something's coming to an end. You're concentrating on money. Money in the bank. I'm hearing money in the bank. You're isolating yourself. You're not talking to anybody. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Ace of Wands. Double reversed. They're off doing new things. They're detaching from this. Trying to regain their balance. What do you think of them? Ten of Pentacles upright. Ten of Pentacles upright. They moved on to. They're doing well. They're doing well. They could have the potential to do well. But uh, you're feeling like they, you think they've moved on from this. Strength. Moved on quick, too. Definitely holding back from you. What is your... Okay. Here's this, where this gets confusing. Intended actions. Hierophant. Why the Hierophant? Two of Cups reversed. Life lesson learned. Wands. Why the Queen of Wands? Star reversed. Okay. You're holding your head high. This is a life lesson learned situation. This is a, even though I didn't get what I wanted, I wish you well. Why is this ending in conflict? Could be internal conflict. Yeah. Putting a great deal of work and effort into not causing conflict. Possibly concentrating on work or trying to avoid conflict. Give me one more. 
Give me one more. High Priestess. Yeah. There's a connection here. It's acknowledged, but Six of Swords, bottom of the deck. We're going to leave it right there. Talk to me about the Seven of Swords for the energy of the person that Leo is dealing with. Is that planning? Queen of Cups reversed, okay. Swords reversed, okay. Gemini. You could well be dealing with a Gemini. There's three Gemini cards over here. A lot of air, could be any air sign. Very heavy Gemini. Got a little bit of water, got a little bit of fire. I also have a Libra with the two and the four of swords. Take it. If it's yours, take it. If it's not, leave it. Seven of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. I'm leaving it there. They're hanging back. Like, I'm going to hang back, wait and see what happens. How do they feel about you? Four of swords. Give me one. Four of swords. Resting, chilling out, taking a break. Maybe they feel like you just needed a break from each other. Death reversed. They don't want this to be over, though. They don't want things to change. They just want break time. That's how they feel about you. Maybe they feel like you'll come back or return. What do they think? Two of swords. Two of swords reversed. Making a decision without clarity. Trying to avoid conflict, internal, external, or otherwise. Empress. Page of Wands. Okay, this is the weird part. This is the weird part. Okay, so one's reversed. You want to, but you're not. Slightly immature energy. There's potential for growth. You're not taking action, or you're not taking the action that they want you to take. They feel like you're making a decision without the proper clarity. Possibly because you're ghosting out on them. Five of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. Or maybe they ghosted out on you. Temperance. Temperance. Could be a Sag. Justice reversed. Trying to keep it light, but they're not feeling like it's fair. Intended action, six of swords. Six of swords. Hairpin reversed. Hanged man. Moving on, accepting the fate of the situation. This was not meant to grow. This wasn't meant to unite. Possibly a missed opportunity. Two of swords reversed. They're making a snap decision now. Accepting a defeat. Five of swords reversed. One in the king of wands reversed. Also a little bit anti-confrontational energy is not coming together. Three of cups reversed. Avoiding conflict. Probably putting some distance in there. Not hanging out. Not talking. Page of pentacles reversed. Alright, I, I see communication, but I don't see the best of intentions. Seven of Swords. Nine of Swords. 
Five of Pentacles back at the bottom of the deck. Changes are coming in this connection real fast. Change is coming. It's not already here. Wild. Wild. All right. I feel like you guys are leaving something unsettled due to bad blood. You're just kind of blocking each other out. Shoot. Okay. All right. We moonology. Fiery climax approaches. Why does that feel appropriate? All right, give me a wisdom. Give me a wisdom. The tribe. And just for kicks and giggles, all that glitters. Okay. All right. Fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. It's time to see if you've been a little too much me, me, me. There's a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants. But you'll have to wait a little while to see what's going to happen next. As you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling the situation as sensitively as you could have done. If you know deep down that you've been a little rash or harsh, gone too far, overstepped the mark, and accept that on some level you've created the situation yourself, which means you can create a way out of it too. When this card comes up, a peak is coming and it could be fiery. All right. Number eight, tribe. Number eight, Leo. Hmm. Eight. Infinity. The number eight. Hmm. You're discovering the essential qualities that you share with another and perhaps all the all those you don't share. And perhaps also those you don't share. There are times when you follow and the other person leads. And times when you lead and the other follows. The appearance of this card points to the importance of learning the proper dance between you and another. Accepting the truth that everyone has flaws is part of that dance. Yet, you are also being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you don't want to repeat. You're in perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best version of who you can be together. All that glitters, number 16. Sometimes we try to become something we're not to impress others. We embellish a story a bit, adding some dramatic elements to make us more appealing. The real person becomes hidden behind the sparkle and shine. Then there are times when we don't see the true value of someone else because he or she may not have the glitz and glamour that seems so desirable. Now is the time to look past the surface, beyond the mask, to the essence of a person. Who that person is, not what he or she can give you is important. See beyond the glitter and look for the inner glow. 
Use the eyes in your heart. Let go of artifice and let what is authentic shine. Leo, my lovelies. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. Have one hell of a 2022. Make it a banging banner of a year. Peace, love, and light. I'll catch you next time.